Good afternoon, everyone. Um, unfortunately, my, uh, I won't be able to convey to you Mari's enthusiasm and his perseverance with this project. Um, he's been working for the past um, six years on entomopathogenic nematodes and their mass, mass production. So what I want to say is, is that um, we started with this um, project many years ago, about 18 years ago, where Matthew had a very small amount of money available. And, at this, and we are now at the end of the research of this project. Um, and for the mass production and for formulation, or for the mass production, we, we only have two students working on it. And this is, unfortunately, to have a product on the table to, to give to, your, uh, to the farmers, you have to have a, a team of people working on it. This is not for one or two little projects to, to be successful in the end. So what is nematodes? For, for those who don't know, they are, they are actually animals. Now, they, they're not bacteria, fungi, or they are very complex multicellular um, um, little worms, and they um, can search for an insect in a cryptic habitat. They can be mass cultured in, in vivo, meaning in an insect, or, or artificial um, in shake flask or in a bioreactor. They have a symbiotic uh, relationship with the bacteria, and as Stefan always says, it is the engine of the nematodes. So you can get the same nematodes, but with different bacteria, and they function totally different. Uh, Murray had this as, as his um, highlight of his study, but this is not the highlight. There were so many highlights, and it was such an exciting journey that, that, um, that uh, I don't regard this as my highlight, but here he wants to present that, where he, he managed to lower the cost of the raw ingredients of the culture medium. He looked at the protein source, the lipid source, and the yeast source. And Eck, with Steiner Nima Jirgelemense, who was our best candidate, he could get like 3,000 nematodes per mill. I hope you can um, appreciate the amount of nematodes per mill. Um, we also cultured another nematode, Steiner Nima Jeffrehense, and that nematode prefers soil. soil. So these, every nematode is different. So Mari also look at canola oil and olive oil. Um, not any difference, but a huge dif difference in, in price. And then you also look at yeast, like a marmite, um, the lab yeast, and very low-grade yeast, where you didn't get good results. But there's many other yeast that still can, can be, be tested to lower the cost. Um, so Marie's cost analysis for one billion of nematodes initially was 460. This, this is only for the raw materials. 460 rand, and he, he bring it down to like 104 rand. This is because he could have um, pushed up the, the yield enormously with, with using egg as a protein source. Um, this, I would say, is the highlight of the whole study. This is a, a, a custom-designed bioreactor where we work on for many, many months. With trial and error, we eventually got it to work successfully, and we are not even engineers. So um, here you can see he got almost 3,000 nematodes per mill in the bioreactor, which is comparable with commercial production. Here you can look at, 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 the, at how the, the nematodes try to get out of the diet in search of a new host. 
Um, when you wash the, the, the nematodes out of the bacteria from the bio, bioreactor, you get this. This is like two billion pure nematodes. There's nothing, it's all what you see there is nematodes. And this is what's then been formulated and sold as a commercial product. Um, so, so I just want to stress it, that, is that this is not a, a, a project for one or two students. It is a multidisciplinary project and to, to eventually have a product on the table for our farmers, there should be a whole team of people working on it. Thank you very much. <laughs>